Hey everyone, I'm Pete Dalladay. Welcome to this edition of Hometown PTVL. This is Michael Bell, who grew up in the north end north of end. Peterborough, in, in the county officially. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Which is now the city. Yeah. But Terra yeah. Heights, what was that called? Terra View. Terra View. Terra View Heights. Right. Yeah. What was it like growing up uh, north end of Peterborough in the 70s? It was a lot of hitchhiking into town <laughs> and yeah. uh, bike riding up hills late at night to get yeah. home before curfew. I was, you know, well, when you live in the North End, there's no way around the hills. That's the, well, that's that's the, the way truth. they roll, the drumlins. Bus didn't come out there, though. So you go to Adam Scott eventually. So I go to Adam Scott eventually. Is that when you really got into music, or was it before that? Oh, long before that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But Adam Scott was great because I got into the music class right away and then uh, started meeting other musicians. And then, yeah. of course, real rolled into high school and put some bands together and, of course, strobic acts at... Uh, you know, became a bit of a cult success in its mm -hmm. own right. And um, yeah, so it was good. It was a good, you know, good balance of jocks and muzos, really, weirdos. I love it how, okay, you talk Crestwood and, you, you know, the guys from, uh, you know, I Mother Earth were Crestwood guys, right? You got PCVS and they're known for Sebastian Bach and Serena Ryder. But you got Adam Scott, also alumni. Pretty underrated when it comes to musicians. You got yourself and a few other well-known, yeah. you know, Greg, Greg Wells. Wellsy. Yeah, yeah Wells. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's the first name that comes to mind. Three Days Grace lads. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's... Not bad. A, yeah, well, Peterborough, you know, it's a place where music happens. And, and uh, I mean, when you're totally bored with your surroundings, what else do you do? You go into the <laughs> basement and you start creating. And That's awesome. Being a weirdo. Um, then you get into the publishing side of things a little bit with the Wire magazine. People know you from that. The Wire Awards. That, Wire Awards. Those are fun. They were really fun. And uh, yeah, I've often thought about putting them back together, but it's just so, they were so oh, much work. It was like a lot of time. Talk about, yeah. you know, hurting cats. Like nobody wants to jump on stage, but, but yeah. everybody's there to jump on didn't, stage. And didn't you, just, you have a Peter Falkowski Award? Or, you know, or he, we did. You, you, yeah. Well, it wasn't him. It was Chex, Chex TV personality. Right. So he wanted every year, <laughs> and then he would accept it on air. Right. And we'd come and give him the cheesy because remember the award in the day was as right up until the end was like yeah. the cheapest picture frame you could possibly buy with yeah. just like a photocopy in it that sure. said your thing. Yeah. Right. Every award was worth like a dollar forty or something. Right. And you get these pictures of I'll never forget Ronnie Hawkins waving his above his head. You know. <laughs> Legendary. Yeah, this is like one of the most. Yeah. You know, I love this trophy and everything. Else. So. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I went down that road, but you were on about the Wire Awards and yeah, I was, yeah. those and were good Pete times. Falkowski. Yeah, you were probably nominated. I was. I never won because uh, Falkowski won all the time. So how do you beat that guy? It's huh? always good to be nominated, though, and it was an honor. Exactly. Uh, the, really? <laughs> <laughs> let's talk a little bit about your Bowie show. Yeah, I mean, okay. You rocked uh, Music Fest last year. You've you've played Market Hall. You're shifting things to show place this year. We are not till October, so it's a ways away. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man, you do a great job, and you're bringing it back. Ah, thanks. Yeah, we're we're out in the fall touring a bunch of theaters in Ontario. And uh, this show, we're taking it to show place because we need a bigger stage. We've got more stuff going on. It's a new show. Try to reinvent the show every year because we're rolling in to a lot of the same markets year after year. So, um, you know, we add some new songs, some new costumes. Uh, we've got Bill Porter involved this year with uh, his multimedia yep. offering. And uh, yeah, there's going to be a ton of surprises attached to the show. So, yeah, definitely if you're a fan of the Bowie and you saw us at any other point, um, and enjoyed yourself. Yeah. Come on out to Showplace, yeah. I know I've asked you this before, and I'll put you on the spot again, but what's your favorite Bowie song to, uh, to play, and what is one you'd never want to play again if you had to <laughs> <laughs> choose? Well, if I never, a song I'd never like to play again would be Modern Love or Let's <laughs> Dance, any of that stuff. That's just... That's my, that's my I uh, know, 80, I know, I know, man. I know. MTV was out, I bunch know. of music. Well, but... as he says, I'm not <laughs> proud of every one of my records. Yeah. And... Um, uh, my, you know, the song I've, I think I've taken, that I, you know, I've done my entire career is Changes, which really speaks to me in a yeah. lot of ways, yeah. you know, for folks that know me would know. Um, on stage, I love Young Americans. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. fame too. Yeah. Like yeah. Both of those tracks back to back yeah. are just Never get old. killer. The band yeah. rocks it and it's just so much fun. Lots of words and yeah. lots of melody and 
you know, some gymnastics. Yeah. And speaking of the band, well, next time we catch up, let's talk about the band because they are a huge part of it. They're so good. And mm -hmm. I know you're proud to be on stage with them, whoever may be playing that night with you. Uh, so that's coming up in October. Uh, before we let you go, what is the secret? How do you stay so young looking? Was it that, <laughs> was it that North End water growing up? Is it the East City air? Is this is a serious just, question, no, Pete. Just no, okay. Well, I've been a vegetarian for over thirty odd years. Okay, well, there so you go. So I that's would say that's part of the secret. All right. And uh, and my my wife, who's been with me since I was a, a young man, keeping you young, keeping me young, on and your toes, keeping me on line, and on, on two wheels. Yeah, this yeah. may take my life someday, but <laughs> hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully well, not. Listen, we'll see you in October. This has been Michael Bell, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching Hometown PTBL, brought to you by The Pile Group, CIBC Wood Gundy.